All right. So, uh, can you give me a simple example where the repository pattern should be used? Absolutely. In fact, I'll do it on the whiteboard because I can. So, um, for anyone curious, I'm going to explain to you literally the ultimate purpose of the repository pattern, and it's actually pretty simple. So, when should we use the repository pattern? So, let's say we have an application, and it needs to talk to a local service and a remote service. So let's say, for example, we have a local room database and we have a remote Firebase, Firestore database. They both act on the same data. So when we're not using the repository pattern, we have a situation where our logic class, or if you, if you don't like to build apps like I do, this might actually just be your activity, which I don't suggest. But Let's, whatever class needs to talk to your back end, and this is the, the key for the repository pattern, this is where it shines. Whichever class needs to talk to your back end, in the event that we have these two services that act on the same data, what we do, okay, so when we're not using the repository pattern, we directly talk to A and B, services A and B. We directly have the logic class send a message to say the remote and if the remote says yeah I, no connection or fails then that response goes back to the logic class and then the logic class has to ask the local database or whatever uh, room database for the data instead so we have our logic class and it depends on two different backend components which work on the same data that's stupid instead what we do is we use the repository pattern. So instead of having the logic class know what A and B are, it just has a repository. So this is an interface. So it's an interface. So logic doesn't even know what's behind here. It has no idea. It doesn't know what dependencies this thing has. Okay? So what is the perfect example? So what we do is we create this repository and the, the logic of responding to the what the remote and the local say, we put that logic in whatever object implements the interface in the back end. Why? Because the front end logic should not care that we're talking to these two databases. In fact, and this is the key point, watch this. Let's say, for example, something magical happens and the requirement for our application is that we need four data sources. Our project manager comes up to us and says, you need to not just talk to a local and a remote from, say, Room and Firebase. You need to talk to, as well, let's just say, Give me a moment. You need to talk to as well an Amazon uh, Realm, so an, a Realm local database and an Amazon remote web service, Amazon Web Services database. That's our new requirement. Don't ask why, just let's say we have to. Okay, so if our project manager gave us that new requirement, and we didn't have our repository, I would have to draw lines now, dependencies to all of these different things. And the logic class would need, which is a front end class, it manages the front end, so we're thinking a presenter review model. I would need to add all these dependencies, which all talk to the, which all have the same data. They, they all just retrieve a note, say, um, in this logic class. 
if I use the repository pattern, this is this should blow your mind if you're a developer here and you don't know about this. When you have a repository pattern, I just almost destroyed my phone. Um, no matter what you add to the back end, even if we have to have four services back here, I don't have to change the logic class at all. It still only has one dependency, which is the repository interface. So the purpose of the repository pattern and this is very common when you're talking across architectural boundaries. So we're going from like the front end of the app If you imagine that this is the front end of the app, so model view presenter up here, well view presenter, and then this thing is the back end of the application this is a back-end detail. I should not have to change the front-end based on what happens in the back-end and vice versa. So that's why we use the repository pattern. And this is why interfaces are actually like one of, oops, sorry, one of the best things ever. So hopefully that answers your question. I just almost destroyed my phone.